Hi and welcome to C Programming. In today's tutorial we're going to discuss char arrays or just the basic functionality of char arrays. So let's quickly look at the following example. This is how we would do character input um, just by using a normal character variable. So if we run this program you would see that um, we have a printf statement asking enter a single character we've got a scanf statement saying um, get the character input basically from the user and a printf statement to go and display basically the character so we can double click on it to check all the names are correct and then we can run our program and you would see if I enter A, the input was A. But this is only for characters. But what if we want to enter sentences? And in C programming, we do this by using character arrays. So let's see how we can change this to work with a character array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the following. I'm going to change the name to array. And as we know with the basic array video, we need to go and define the size. So what we can do is we can say char array and the size is four. And we can say, we're going to initialize each um, value basically in this um, array. And we can say H E, oops. L and another L and then lastly oh so hello one two three four five so let's change it to five so now we've got a character array of size five and we are displaying H E L L O hello so now if we want to go and display hello how would we go and go about this so I'm just going to comment out this part there and then what we would do is we're going to say printf and the array is and then what I'm going to do is we're not going to display the character now so we're going to display the array so we just say array um, and we don't have to go and specify the exact index we can just go and change this percentage c to a percentage s and this will enable us to go and display the array so if we run this we would get something like this array is hello and then some weird stuff there at the back and we're going to have a chat about that in a moment so that is basically character arrays we can use the percentage s to go and display whatever um, sentence or word that we want to go and display. So now we're not working with a single character, but now we're working with multiple characters. Now talking about that interesting little um, extra text that was displayed. So now you will quickly see if I run this again, you will see array is hello and then some weird text. And what is that text? Now, one thing that we need to understand with character arrays are that character arrays work on the premise that we have multiple characters in the index, but the one rule is the last index of the array needs to be a null character. Okay, so the null character specifies the end of the array. So technically, if this array is of size 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, we need to actually make it one bigger. And then we would need to say the null character. So I just need to remember if it's forward slash or backward slash. I think it's backward slash. Oops, there we go. So just backward slash. And that is our null character. So if we go and run this, and go back there we'll see that the array is hello now what this null character is basically doing is just indicating the end of the array 
So it's very important for us to have that null character if we want to go and display arrays because otherwise we're going to have gibberish at the end and we won't know why. So that null character is very, very important. Now, when creating character arrays, it also may be very tedious by doing this um, for each character in single inverted commas for each character. So what the C library actually helps us to do is we can just go and do the following and we can just say H E L L O and we set it to that. Now we don't have to go and specify the null character. Um, it's going to be there and it's going to be added automatically with initialization like this and the array is going to be hello. But let's quickly go and check what's going to happen if we do this. So now if we go back, if the array is one smaller, you will see again there's some gibberish there because we need to make space for the null character. So that's why we need six. So that is to go and display character arrays. So the one thing that we always need to remember is the last index of the array needs to have a null character. If we go and define each character individually with the curly brackets and single inverted commas for each character, then we need to go and specify the null character. But if we do the initialization as follows, with the double inverted commas, we don't have to go and specify the null character because our compiler is going to add that automatically. So that is basically how we can create arrays and display arrays. Now, getting back to when we may or may need to ask the user for input. So enter a, and this is going to be a one, two, three, four, five, a five letter word, five letter word. So now we're saying, please enter a five letter word. And now we want to scan if this word by using the scan if statement. And what we do is also we change the percentage C to S. And then we need to go and say the following, just array. And we don't need to have ampersand because arrays works as follow. The name of the array is basically the address of the first index. So we're not going to go into the technicalities for now, but when we get to pointer and um, addresses, we would understand this more clearly. But technically, this is going to be the same. So array is basically the same as ampersand array index zero and this is how we used to scan a single character into an array or a normal integer array this is how we used to do it in our basic array video but for scanning of character arrays so we can just go and say array and we can go and scan if so getting back to this so we're going to scan if this so let's build and run and see what happens. So let's get a five letter word and we already know a five letter word, hello, but it's already there. So W-O-R-L-D, world, is a five letter word, um, five letter word, and we can just go and say world, and that's one, two, three, four, five. If we press enter, the array is world. Okay, so that is um, basically how we can go and enter arrays and how we can go and display arrays. Um, remember that we've got that problem of the null character. So what we sometimes do is we just go and specify a little bit extra um, just to make sure that we don't run into problems or we can even go a little bit higher um, and we can just say enter a word. So now we can assume more or less that there is not a word that's going to go over 30 characters, for instance. So um, we can go and think about a long word, blah, 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 blah. And we can press enter and you will see we're only displaying the word. 
because the null character is going to be inserted at the back when we enter and the rest of the indexes of this array is not going to be used because now if we do the printf it's going to display everything until the null character but not the null character and we will get exactly what we want the word that we have entered so that's a nice thing that we can utilize to enter names etc words into a character array with ease and with no problems so that is character arrays in a nutshell thank you very much for watching until next time